So let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Queen Naja clapback and people speaking on her relationship. Big Boogie shut down. Corey lies about Carmen. Let's get it. Carmen was throwing a little shade in her last video. I should have listened to my mama. Mama never lied. All right, the next one is my next relationship. I need ten thousand dollars to pass. <laughs> Who don't? Who don't? I want the ten thousand dollars to pass. And I for how many days of a relationship? Two days, three days, five days. A month? I don't know. We're gonna see what the ten thousand deposit can do for me. Big Boogie was asked about Carmen in his recent interview. Here's what he had to say. I don't I don't be missing. I don't bother people if they is in relationships. I don't try to get in niggas hold. I don't do none of that. I respect the game. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's all love to me. So you just so you just shot your shot and it just No, nah, it wasn't it wasn't nothing. God made that happen, it ain't happen how it happened. I don't speak on nothing, it is what it is. Gotcha. You feel what I'm saying? I, I didn't That I didn't, nigga. He one of them ones, he can be getting some ass. You won't even know it. Fucking the girl right beside him. Act like it ain't happening. That's a that's a good time. I like Boogie. He ain't even telling y'all how they met. Don't worry about it. Play boy. It, it, they saying I took some. I didn't take shit. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't take none. I still don't speak on none on none. I don't give a fuck to speak on none. Who are y'all? I don't got to explain nothing to, to nobody. Yeah. Nah. Who, you, who, who the fuck is Who the fuck is Come question big dude <laughs> I want to know that I want to know Who the fuck is Question this young nigga <laughs> So boogie mm -hmm. So We heard Fuck what you heard But have you heard that That chopper cock and pop it? Have you heard that We finna get into it Yeah yeah Have you heard this Red Room Wizard Go get Hard. on it, man. Go support, man. You all in my personal life, cause yeah. whatever going on in my personal life, ain't no bitch stopping it, ain't no nigga stopping it, ain't no blog stopping it, ain't no police stopping it. Guess who can stop it? God. But why would God stop? I think this nigga's a great nigga too. Okay, I think that um, a lot of people should live like that. This nigga, when he got his mind made up, ain't nothing. <laughs> he sound better than um. <clears throat> finesse two times. Lord knows, finesse two times over there looking like a stud. He get on my nerve. But um, the way he was trying to explain things that night and like talk to them girls, sir, several of them. Okay, please. Several. Okay. Stop it. And he the one got this shit crunk up. You don't put five with five, man. If the internet saying something about big dude, I'm going to let them talk. Y'all supposed to talk. They talked about God. Who the fuck am I? Yeah. It's like that. Turn me up there, baby. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, Carmen said that she's trying to hit a million before her birthday, so maybe she could do a sit-down video with Big Boogie because it don't look like he's saying anything Sound to anybody like else. So y'all can sit down, talking. maybe talk Facts. about some projects, maybe some collaborations or something. You know what I mean? Vanessa looked like a hiccup friend. Friend, what a hiccup look like? What a hiccup look like, huh? <laughs> hey, like, y'all leave your comments down below when it comes to them. But let's talk about Dwayne Bacon because recently he purchased Mr. a house. Bacon. Congratulations to him. Y'all know he's going back overseas, so he decided to purchase a house before he go back overseas. And Nick was dropping some hints on live yesterday. Listen. So neat. Congratulations. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for the congratulations. I am so excited for this new journey. <laughs> I actually don't have, wear my wing ring when I'm like cooking and stuff, so that's why you guys don't see it. Hey, Y'all think it's cap? I'm gonna take my uh bacon out. Did he meet any of those ladies here? I think with the summer, Nick and Dwayne were really trying to test things out because they had both the kids together and they were staying together. So they were trying to see, wait, let's see how this thing would really work if we were actually together, we were actually married. And and, and Nick needed help with Kaza. <clears throat> and I don't mean financially because, girl, she ain't broke, but she needed help with discipline because Kaza be over there doing whatever the hell he pleased with his bad ass. Okay. So why King have him over there? When he have him over there, he get that discipline over there. He need discipline while he with his mother. Okay? Shout out to Mr. Bacon. 
And I think it worked out because sis is talking about she might have a ring. He just purchased a house. He's playing overseas, but he said he's working to retire and move his business back to America. So, whoa, I'm just excited oh, for everybody. Hey, okay. Everybody got some positivity going on, period. Now, let's talk about Same some video. more positivity because Funny Mike just purchased a penthouse. A lot of people were saying this was his bachelor pad and that he was moving out of his house. But he said this recently. Man, go ahead, tell them five, tell them five. I got 10 acres and with a mansion on it. This just some play shit. You know, I don't mean to leave, you know, let pop my tooth my horn, but. <laughs> two, 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 two. I, got, I, <laughs> I got some acres too, big bro. Y'all know him and Jaleel just purchased a mansion, so he still lives in the mansion. This is just his workspace. So y'all leave y'all comments down below. Everybody need a motherfucking workspace, literally. Let me know what y'all think of it. My office just ain't one for me. Comes to that. DDG responded to people that had something <laughs> to say. Oh, this is so cute. He's so annoying. <laughs> that damn Halo is gone. I'm sure he loves his father, but I'm talking about, you know, when he get older. Yeah, he gonna get on his nerves, but he gonna love him at the same time. It's the cutest. <laughs> okay, hold on, friend. Okay. About his parenting. <laughs> Crazy shit. Rob Wig on this bitch is born. What? What is make a video on TikTok talking about some um DDG doing too much with his son, why he had a trampoline park, ball block. Where is your daddy at? <laughs> you don't even got a goddamn daddy and you trying to teach me about how to be a daddy. Where's your baby daddy what? at? You don't even have a kid. It's so many different variables that you can't even. If somebody ain't got a kid, why Damn. I think he's a great dad. I think he's a present dad. I think he's a trying dad. I think that um, he's having fun. Um, and I think that he's enjoying fatherhood. And I think that's what life is about. Why, don't tell me how to take care of my kids. Exactly. That don't even make sense. And like, then, when, when the fuck was it, who, the, who made it okay for you to teach another how to te teach his kid and you ain't pop my kid out your cool. It don't make no sense. People be wanting people to to, to follow their way of teaching their kid, but I don't even grow up like you. I don't want my kid to grow up like you. I want my hey, kid to grow up how I want. Why would I want my kid to be like this you? This is my kid. So and you're I'm online talking about nigga. me. Why would I take any advice from you and you're online speaking on me and nah. you're not no, not doing anything in your life? Why would I want my kid to be like you? Because you must have learned from your mom and your mom didn't obviously didn't teach you right. Queen Aja did comment. That nigga DDG got a mouth on. After her and Clarence <laughs> post up a picture with her holding bride to be, she said, she said, this is clearly trolling, LOL. But when I tell y'all, them niggas look happy as hell. I love this picture. I'm glad they got an updated picture. Don't get me wrong. Shit go on in your relationship, but this is a nice picture. I like this picture too. And I like this too. <laughs> but even if it was real, look how people find this is clearly trolling. Oh, she read something it. negative regardless. That's why I'm going to the courthouse. Clarence Period. also posted up a picture of them together and in the corner and said for life. We back from the hip hop boat oh. party. I'm fucking lit. <laughs> we out here lit. spending the fucking bag. Babe, I can tell you're drunk. <laughs> We're spending. I'm finally having me a full burrito. When I say this that burrito is so good, it got avocado. Oh my God. Pico de gallo, oh my God. short rib. Onion. It has Short fries rim. inside of here, and then there's this black truffle sauce. It's really, really good. Oh, I love truffle. Now that's some shit I can eat right now. So good. Oh, that look good. Mm. That meat looked dry, but outside of that, it looked good. Y'all, we're about to get a couple of fries. Thank you. And I'm so excited. Putting this right back on and going to the pool. So I got my robe on, you guys. And just look at this tan I got, y'all. Like, I'm golden. Like, oh my god. He is golden, though. <laughs> you have to remake like that this. for one Why of your not? cooking segments. Oh, yes, I am. Time to go. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm more ready. Yo, I haven't had a massage in a long time. Especially in a different country. I think the only time we ever got a massage was in Jamaica. I feel like you get you get more massages than me. The lady was just in the house the other day. Yeah. No, not.
What is she doing? Drunk. Point. You're gonna break your kneecap. Trying <laughs> <laughs> to do that funny shit. All right, now we're just chilling at the pool game. It's our last day. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even tell y'all. We were supposed to leave yesterday. No, we were supposed to leave today. And you know what? So we extended it. Um, we always do that. I don't know why we even bother staying in four days. We about to start booking five days every time. Because why? it gets expensive when you're trying to rebook shit. But we just got some pizza. All right, cheers. Pizza. The type of shit that I think about when I see things like this is if I were to eat that piece of pizza, I'ma die. And pizza with orange juice? I'm going through it, okay? I'm going through it, y'all. I'm, I'm going through it. I'm sick of it. Same Prosecco. <laughs> I be looking at niggas eating envious. I be like. Especially niggas that can scarf down a 10 piece buffalo wing. I've never been envious in my life of nothing. I don't give a damn. What you eat don't make me shit, literally. But the fact that they can go out there, get drunk, drink champagne, drink liquor, have pizza with orange juice. And some of y'all probably looking at me like, Nick, what the fuck is wrong with you? Acid reflux is what's wrong with me. Y'all here, y'all have been here with me to go through every stage of my life. And finally, acid reflux has caught up to my ass. Okay? So get what? You want to go have a drink? Let's go. Blah. No, no. I can't go have a drink. Because my stomach feel like it's going to. Do you know stomachs blow up? Did y'all know stomachs blow up? <sighs> stomach blowing up. Chest on fire, throat on fire. Oh, shit. <sighs> Look at them just enjoying their drinks. It's good. God is great. <laughs> How you like it? You like that one or the watermelon one? Mm. It's a little sweeter. It's sweeter. You like that one more? a little bit more refreshing. Oh, let me see somebody busting down a queso dip. Oh, shit. <sighs> I really don't like it. Today, I'm probably not going to eat. Well, today I ate uh, cauliflower Cauliflower gr shrimp and grits with cauliflower. B bang, bang, cauliflower. I had a cappuccino. Why would I do that? The food was fine. Cappuccino hurt my stomach. All right, bye. <laughs>